Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Mwahaha! <laughs> Ash, we're cheating on you! <laughs> oh no, I better not take this too far. Otherwise women will kill me. You know what women are like. Mm. Come on, come on, come on. Damn, I've spent next a ton of time right now doing nothing. Right, Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Ah, oh, for f oh, f Go on, then. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrade. Ah, oh, Frickin' hell. What do these idiots want? Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. You didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? The Council agreed that Saren was dangerous, Commander. That was why we made you a Spectre. We only balked at unleashing the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the Council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest information. Come on. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. A missing infiltration team's not my problem. Clean up your own mess. That unit may have sacrificed their lives to get this message out. Saren is up to something on Vermeer. You'd see that if it weren't for your stubborn human pride. Damn. I'll look into it. I clicked the wrong the one. The council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. I was going to argue we with it. We only him. want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Frickin' hell. I was gonna call the guy a dumb shit or something. Right. Back to the Citadel. And then we're going to abuse a bug. Where we'll get infinite money. We can upgrade our gear. And then we're going back on some side quests. But guys. This is going to be boring work. This whole abusing this glut bug thing. <laughs> it's not really abusing a bug so much as it's just selling your stuff and buying it back over and over again. Yeah, it's not really abusing. Besides which, this is a let's play. I am allowed to cheat on this either. And it's not as if I'm going to Commander, be... Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. <sighs> Shepard. This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Yeah, We've got hi a Lance. Here and you're the only one that can handle it. Freaking Lance Henriksen. Come on. How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? You're a Spectre, Shepard. And this isn't some run of the mill mission. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands, it's gone rogue. Synthetic intelligence is a dangerous technology, Admiral. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. Uh. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the Council, but you're still human. 
You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. We're going to need good items for doing those kinds of things anyway. At the very least, we want a good shotgun. Ah, <sighs> alright, yeah, yeah. Come on, can I skip you? No. Because what we're going to be doing, basically, is getting ourselves some cash, buy a new weapon, some armor, ending off, doing all the side quests, and then we're going to finish the game with Pharos. Vermeer, Ilos, and then... Wait. Okay, guys, um... I basically got interrupted, but in the middle of my exploiting a bug in the system, I came across Conrad Werner once again. So, right now, I'm going to talk to him. So, enjoy this, I think this is our final confrontation with Conrad Werner. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one Spectre is enough. What if you signed me on as another Spectre? Conrad, I haven't been shot in the head nearly enough times to make that seem like a good idea. Joke if you want, but there were people who didn't believe in you, and you worked out, right? Oh. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. All right, let's see. I'm a bad guy. Stop me from killing you. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? This is how a gun in your face feels. It happens to me every day. You can't handle this. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. <laughs> oh, you poor thing, Conrad. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I wanted to show you. So it'll cut away from this place to be another place. It'll probably show me with my new stuff. So yeah. Uh huh. All right, guys. Um, welcome back. We kind of got our stuff. Uh, this place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, we're just looking for some stuff. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. I should be going. As you wish. <laughs> Do return when you are able. Yeah, yeah, okay. Commander. It is good to see you again. Would you care? Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show okay, right. fair enough, Shao. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Non human. Uh, let's see, 50, 264. Blimey, there's one hell of a difference between these two. Boop. I don't want Turian armor. I want Quarian armor. Then again, can Quarians wear this armor? That's what I'd like to know. Uh, they do have their own armor, I forgot about that. Oh well. I also stayed recording again because we've got ourselves a side quest to complete. You remember that signal thing we were tracing? Here's the final one. <laughs> 